On today's episode, I'll be showing you how to make party stew recipe. Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Variety's channel and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get instant notifications whenever I upload new inspiring videos. Thank you. Kindly check description below for detailed ingredients used in this recipe. Combine the following blend and set aside. Here are the various spices for steaming the beef. Substitute them as desired. I have carefully washed my beef about 5 times. Add the blended ingredients we prepared earlier on. Chopped onions, spices and about 4 gnaw cubes for this quantity of beef and then stir to combine effectively. I suggest you add fresh parsley or any other fresh ingredient to intensify the flavor of the beef, though optional. Finally, add salt to taste and stir to combine appropriately. Cover and cook for a total of 10 to 15 minutes or more depending on your meat's texture. But note that the meat should not be overcooked since it will be fried or grilled. The next step is to grease your baking pan with little oil and transfer meat to oven to grill for a healthier option. And also to save time and energy or fry the meat in medium heated oil step by step. But kindly note that beef contains high cholesterol content and frying it increases your cholesterol intake. Now blend all these ingredients together and transfer immediately to pot and cook between 30 to 40 minutes or more, depending on your own quantity. After about 30 to 40 minutes, you can see the mixture is ready as the quantity depreciates and looks dry or thicker. Prepare all the onion family, wash, chop and set aside. Here is the final outcome of the cooked tomato mixture. Add a generous amount of any oil of your choice to the pot depending on the quantity of stew you will be making. Next, add the chopped combinations of onions and stir in for about 5 minutes till pale or translucent. Next, pour in all the spices I showed earlier on and fry it in the hot oil. Stir and cover the pot to allow the spices to infuse and intensify its flavor inside the stew. After the spices have been fried appropriately, the next step is to gradually pour in the cooked tomato mixture. Stir immediately but be careful of the splashes because it's very painful on the skin. Add salt to taste, stir to combine and cover again to cook on medium to low heat for 15 minutes to eliminate the taste of the tomato as much as possible. After 15 minutes, the tomato is completely cooked as you can see oil settling above it. Next, pour in the stock from your cooked meat step by step considering the consistency that is best for you. I did not add water to this stew because I wanted the full flavor from the stock. Store any leftover stock in the freezer. Now it's 10 minutes later. Stir the pot very well and gradually add all cooked assorted meats of your choice. No fish is required in this recipe, please. Stir the stew very very well and by this time congratulate yourself because you are getting closer to the end of this recipe taste for salt again and again to confirm seasoning and adjust if needed cover and cook for extra 10 to 15 minutes or medium to low heat so that the meats will marry effectively with the stew and after 10 to 15 minutes stir 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 so that the stew will completely mix appropriately next Cover pot again for extra 5 minutes to simmer on the lowest heat. 
The oil settling above the stew is a perfect sign that indeed the stew is completely ready. And at this point in time, your neighbors can no longer control themselves because they are right now at your doorstep knocking and seeking that you should open the door for them to come in. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos and please drop your comment for me in the comment section below. Let me know what you think or feel about this recipe. Bye!